Hey guys, it's Jan, so welcome back. So today I'm doing my drugstore favorites of the moment. And um, let me just get started because I got a lot here. I'm going to start with the Essence of Beauty brushes. Um, I know there was a lot of hype for one particular one on YouTube a while ago. It was the Smoky Wide Essence of Beauty Brush. And I ended up buying this on eBay. And um, it wasn't all that much money, but I will have to say I had something similar to this. So um, I didn't really need it. But the bristles are very, very good. And it's great for one color. If you want to do it quickly, you just sweep one color on. This is a really good brush. It's very similar to, I think, Max, um, I want to say 266. Uh, so it's very similar, but a very good brush and Essence of Beauty seems to make good brushes because there's one I'm going to rave about in a second. This has the little smudger end which I never use. This one, before I found this one on eBay, I found this one in the store and it's basically the same brush. So um, I use, it's good to have brushes like this from the store that are on hand all the time because the brushes that you would normally use that you get dirty and you don't clean quickly enough, you can rely on, you know, other good brushes there. This one I'm going to rave about. I love this and I don't like foundation brushes like this. I have the Sigma one, I have the MAC one, um, and I just and I have an Estee Lauder one, and I just don't like them. I just feel like I'm flip-flopping my foundation around. It doesn't really give me the movability I'm looking for, but with this one, and maybe it's because the bristles are a little bit longer, I can actually, you know, swirl on my foundation if I chose to go that way. Um, really good brush. Love that brush. And on the end, it has the concealer end, which is pretty good. And then this one I picked up. I don't know why. I don't know what I was supposed to do with it. It's called the Blending and Eyeshadow Brush. The eyeshadow brush, the bristles were not cut well. This is where you can see it's clearly a drugstore um, blush and where it's kind of cheap. This one here I use to get off any kind of fallout you know so or any kind of powder I need to put under my eye like if you have a, an eyeshadow with a lot of fallout that you know is going to happen on your face you take um, I use my Cody Airspun and I just load up a lot of powder there and then brush it away when I'm done so this serves um, great for that so those are the brushes that I would recommend from the drugstore I tend to invest in my brushes but once I started with the hunt for the smoky wide brush, I ended up just looking at all the essence brushes and figured what the heck, let me pick up a bunch. So now on to drugstore foundation. <coughs> Excuse me. I picked this up because first of all I love Vichy products. I don't think you can go wrong with Vichy products, but this was something, um, I think it was, I want to say Ruth Curley talked about this, a model recommends, don't quote me, but I thought she might have and I went out and saw it and I just happened to pick it up and I picked up the color 15 opal. This is a corrective foundation. This is if you have deep pitting on your skin, um, any kind of light scarring, any kind of acne scarring, any kind of spots that just hyperpigmentation that, you know, just regular foundation eventually it's going to seep through. Um, this is really good. Very thick, very opaque, really full coverage, full coverage foundation. If you have those types of issues and you need something, then this is really worth it. Um, I don't know if you can see it right there. There you go. Derma Blend and SPF of 20. Really good product. I am fortunate with my skin. I don't have those issues, but I picked it up anyway. Uh, this one, Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. I'm in the color 40 Nude, or I was at the time when I bought it. Fantastic product. Really, really good. Um, doesn't oxidize, doesn't change weird colors, doesn't beat up and separate and break down and look weird on your skin. Worn it on the hottest days in the summer. Um, I do know how to put my, my makeup on in layers so that in anticipating a hot day, I'm not going to have those problems. But I think if you just picked up foundation and you're just starting out doing makeup and you know you weren't sure about what to choose I don't think you can go wrong with this so this is a really good product I really like it and then this one I'm going to recommend it's Rimmel um, and I like Rimmel products and this is the first and only I think of the Rimmel foundations I've ever used but I hit it dead on with the color this color is my perfect match it's 200 soft beige it's the lasting finish 25 hour foundation and how they can make that claim of 25 hours to me is kind of silly I don't think anyone stays up 25 hours to see if their makeup is on still if it should happen to be on for 24 hours we slept in it but um really good. I mean, again, I think the formulation was good. Uh, coverage was uh, medium coverage, if I remember correctly. I haven't used it in a while, but a total recommendation from me. I would definitely say look into these if you're into that. Um, as far as that, with foundations now to remove makeup, I'm going to recommend this from the drugstore. It's Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser, Moisturizing Deep Cleanser, and Makeup Remover. It smells clean and delicious. Uh, Pond's is a 
long trusted product. I mean, everyone knows Pons is a good product. I worked with a woman years ago and I commented on her skin, what she used, and she used Pons and Oil of Olay all her life. That's what she used and her skin was beautiful. So, you know, sometimes it goes to show you that you don't always need to necessarily go out there and spend the high-end amount of money that we all tend to sometimes just as a splurge and that's why I like buying high-end and low-end because um, you can find really good products in the drugstore and this is one of them. Now I know lots of times when I've seen it myself backstage theater even uh, if you have that theater kind of makeup on um, and you know you got that pancake makeup on you got three strips of false eyelashes on you got a lot of glue on you got mascara you got everything on your face They've used ponds. They've used cold cream, and they'll just slather it on and stop start wiping it off. I find uh, the best method to use this is to put it on your face, or put it on a warm, wet washcloth, and then put the washcloth on your face and just let it sit there and let everything melt away. So, totally recommend this. Another thing I'm going to recommend from the drugstore that I love is my bio oil. I've bought it at the drugstore and I've bought it at Costco where you get a two pack for $19.99. There's never a day that goes by that I don't use this, and I use this only on my skin. I don't use it on my face. Another thing I'm going to recommend uh, from the drugstore is the Macadamia Healing Oil Treatment, which is just a really great oil treatment. I respond, respond well to oil, you know, for my skin, whether it's my skin or my face or my hair. It just seems to work and seep in better and give me better results. And this is no exception, really good. I put this on the other morning with that morning skincare routine on my ends, and that's how I use it. I'll put that on at night on my ends, so I love that. Um, drugstore Mascara. Power Volume Collagen. I picked this up on a whim. I don't remember writing it down or listening to someone talk about it and then seeing it and picking it up. I just picked it up on a whim. And boy, am I glad I did. I think this is really, really good. Um, I also use Prestige. It's not necessarily from a drugstore. I get it from a discount beauty supply store. But just as well, I'm going to include it in this video along with two other things that are not necessarily drugstore. But Prestige is, you know, a favorite of mine. The other two that I just mentioned that are not necessarily drugstore, one is Walmart, one is Target, but worth mentioning anyway because they're all generally pretty much around the same price, is number seven, Boots 20 Nude Lip Liner, which everyone is familiar with. Lisa Eldridge, I believe, created this color for this line, and it's a fantastic color. I'll swatch it real quick in case you're not familiar with it, but I think everyone pretty much is. It's just a perfect nude uh, liner. It really is. So it's totally worth uh, looking into that. And this, Hard Candy. Hard Candy is a line that's kind of hit or miss with me. I don't like really anything of their line except these um, face products. And this is the Blush Crush Baked Blush in number 125 Living Doll. And it is a beautiful color. It really is. Very reminiscent of a lot of the higher end uh, mineralized blushes. So, and it's beautiful beautiful color. I might even pop that on later when I see my skin starting to fade a little bit with my color, which I often do. All right, so, um, oh, and I put it on top of one thing I totally have to rave about. That's my Wet n Wild uh, Comfort Zone palette. The Dark Chocolate Brown broke. Um, you know what? I've got to look at this again in the store. I've got to see if that's a I think it's dark chocolate brown because I've had this for a while. I think it was a dark chocolate brown, and I want to see if that's a dupe for Nars Galapagos. I, I could be wrong. It could be, it could be, you know, um, warm brown and not that deep chocolate brown that Nars Galapagos is. Whatever. This is a fabulous palette. It's cheap, um, inexpensive, let's say. The fallout is great. There is a lot of fallout to these uh, eyeshadows, and they break easily because I really kind of. Um, it didn't fall to the floor, it fell on my table and it just completely shattered that one color. So you gotta be careful with that. The colors are beautiful for now or for the fall. So really good palette that's worth the money. I think it was like $4.99. Okay, quickly getting into some lipsticks, the Wet n Wild lipsticks since we just spoke of the palette. They stepped up the game with this. I never would have looked at Wet n Wild products if it weren't for YouTube. If I never ever went on YouTube, I never would have looked into Wet n Wild um, products ever. And that is the same for Jordana too. It's just YouTube opened my eyes because I was always a department store girl. I worked in the industry and I just never, maybe if I stayed in the industry, I would have discovered, you know, uh, this, but you know, I, I left it quite some time ago and raised my kids and now dabble in it just for myself. So, but the wet and wild lipsticks are great and they stepped up the game. They started putting names on the bottom of them. Not all of them, I don't think, yeah. So this is 900B, and it's a beautiful color. 
very nice nude, very matte, very opaque. Uh, staying power is phenomenal, and I find that with this particular one, I need a gloss. This one here is 903C, and they put a name on it, just peachy, and it is a very pretty peachy color. It's right there. Beautiful color. Yeah, there you can see it. Those are the colors right there. Beautiful color. Love it. And this one here is 902C, and it, again, it's more of a nude, and it's beautiful. So really great colors. I mean, if you didn't tell me these were Wet n' Wild colors and just told me to look at the colors, I'd be like, wow, those are really great colors, and I never would have suspected Wet n' Wild. So totally worth looking into those. Um, what am I up to? 10 minutes 34. My gosh, it goes so fast. Rimmel lipsticks. I love Rimmel lipsticks. I love Rimmel. Rimmel's really very good. Airy Fairy. 070 total recommend from me really beautiful color right there one of my favorites and this one for the summer pink blush and it's number um, 006 love this too right there well oh, gosh it looks like snob in my monitor but it's a real beautiful uh, bright not bright but you know you can see a nice pretty bubblegum sort of barbie-ish pink Maybelline not a big fan of Maybelline, really, of anything except the Maybelline Great Lash. And I used their eyeshadow, their um, eyebrow product years ago with the little brush. That was like the first eyebrow product I ever bought. That we're going back years ago. This one here, though, Nude Nuances 865. Again, learned about it from YouTube. Like we learn a lot of things from YouTube now in terms of our makeup choices. Um, beautiful color. Beautiful color. I don't think you can go wrong with that. So that's really nice. And then three matte Revlon lipsticks, and they are 003 Move It Over, a beautiful color. And the thing about these matte lipsticks that I like from Revlon, first of all, I like pretty much all Revlon lipsticks, but these leave a little bit of a slip, like I like to say, leaves a little bit of a slip on your lip, but um, you don't need the gloss. And it's just, it's like a movable lipstick still on your lips, even though they say it's matte. Like, you know, when you have a matte lipstick like this 900B from Wet n Wild, you move your lips together, it's gonna like feel like it's matte, like it's getting stuck. Not with these matte Revlon lipsticks, they're fantastic. And so it's got the slip, it's got the movability on it. So Move It Over is, um, did I even swatch it now? Is what everyone likes to say, your lips but better, and it's true. At least from my pigmentation of lips. Those are my lips but better. Let's move it over. And the other two are Pink Pout 002 and uh, 013 Smoked Peach. Beautiful colors, and I'll swatch them very, very quickly because I'm running out of time. That's Pink Pout, and this one is Smoked Peach, and I always drop something in my videos, don't I? Smoked Peach, Pink Pout, Move It Over, fantastic matte formulation of the Revlon lipsticks. I Oh, one more thing. Ah, Becca, I can't not recommend Becca enough as a drugstore line. It's a better drugstore line than... Well, Revlon's really good then, and then Vichy's really good too, but then the rest, it's really, it's really good. It's high priced for drugstore, but it's totally worth it. This is their Illuminate Wash Liquid Highlighter. I love this, and I get this at a really beautiful Twain Reed on Broadway in uh, downtown Manhattan. So, totally love my Becca products, and that's it, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this kind of quick video. Uh, maybe not so quick, it's up to 13 minutes, but hope you enjoyed it. Hope you seek out some of these that I recommended and try for yourself, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.